We'll check weather and traffic when we come back. Then a little later on this morning, we will take you backstage with Paul McCartney for a behind the scenes look at last night's sold out show. Also ends our time right now. A sellout crowd saw Paul McCartney at the United Center last night. And when we come back, we'll have a look backstage before the big show. And we'll talk to the music legend himself. And then a little later on this morning, cell phone users in some Chicago suburbs now have an easier way to get emergency help. Talking about freedom. We're talking about freedom. I will fight for the right to live in freedom. Paul McCartney rocks a sold out United Center performing one of his new songs, a song written especially for a concert he held for New York City after the terrorist attacks. It's been about 10 years since Paul McCartney's last tour, if you can believe it, but from the reaction of fans, the concert was well worth the wait. Some concert goers we talked to proclaimed it the best show they'd ever seen. They were glad to hear him perform songs from every era of his career. Music from the Beatles, Wings, and as we heard earlier, some of his new songs as well. But everyone had their favorite part of the evening. Oh, when he played Let It Be and Hey Jude back to back. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, him, oh my God, I don't know. Everything is all the best. I have no favorite parts. He is one of the greatest musicians in the world. He was awesome. He is awesome. And he was just like being all modest and like, you know, I'm not that great. Oh, I love the show. I fell in love all over again. It, it brought back old memories. I remember these young and not so young ladies are celebrating a 60 year old man. Isn't that wonderful? As you can see, a man whose career has spanned so many years. He's got fans of all ages. He certainly does. Well, ABC7 got a peek backstage at last night's concert. Some of the musicians were there getting warmed up for the show. Everyone said they were glad to be in Chicago since it is the home of the blues and that's the music that inspired the Beatles. But every stop of this tour has apparently been very enjoyable for McCartney and the band. There is one song in particular that gets the crowds going. Well, as we go along, the song Freedom kind of builds, you know, it was kind of really hot the first night. It gets hotter every night. Um, no, you, we're just pleased that the people are loving the show and that we're loving playing for them. And uh, that's, it's just rolling. We're rolling around America, mm -hmm. driving USA. Driving USA. McCartney performs again tonight before a sold out crowd at the United Center. And we will have more with Paul McCartney in our next hour this morning. Plus, Sun-Times music critic Jim DeRogatis will give us his review of last night's show. He, of course, was there. That's coming up in our 6 o'clock hour. It's got to be a good review. You how, think? How can you not give a good review to Paul McCartney? But you got to stay tuned and watch That's what true. We will. Jim has to say. Okay. According to Sir Paul McCartney himself, it's been about 15 years since he performed here in Chicago. Fans are glad to have him back. In fact, some fans we talked to last night said the show was the best concert they'd ever seen. They were glad to hear McCartney perform songs from every era of his career, from his beginnings with the Beatles, through the Wings, and his latest CD. Before the show last night, ABC7 went backstage with some of the musicians warming up for the concert. Everyone said they were glad to be in Chicago since it's the home of the blues, and that's the music that inspired the Beatles. But the star says every stop of his tour has been enjoyable. He says there's one song in particular that gets the crowd going. Well, as we go along, the song Freedom kind of builds. You know, it was kind of really hot the first night. It gets hotter every night. Um, no, you, we're just pleased that the people are loving the show and that we're loving playing for them. And uh, that's, it's just rolling. We're rolling around America, driving USA. McCartney performs again tonight before a sold out crowd at the United Center and the Sun-Times music critic will be joining us later this half hour with his opinions on last night's show.